Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you this morning to thank and praise you for this new day. I repent of all my sin and I ask in the name of Jesus for your forgiveness. On today, October 11th, I pray in the name of Jesus for deliverance for the body of Christ from strongholds of the mind. Lord, only you know our complete life stories and all that we've been through. And only you know the secret traumas that have opened the doors to strongholds of the mind like rejection, fear, anger, bitterness, unforgiveness, lust, and anxiety. On this morning, I am praying in the name of Jesus that you would minister comfort to your people. I pray that you would minister correction to your people. And I pray that you would pull down the strongholds of the mind that are working to hinder your people at this time. I pray that the Holy Spirit would bring the light of truth to those who are sitting in darkness. I pray those who wake up in the morning and don't even have a chance to get out of bed before the enemy is bombarding them with negative, ungodly thoughts. I pray you would remind your people of the strategy to win this battle can be found in 2 Corinthians 10.5. When the enemy plants seeds of negative thoughts in our mind, we are supposed to cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. We are supposed to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of God. Help us to remember your word, O oh God. Help us to remember that the battle really is in the mind. The mind is the battlefield, and that is where the enemy attacks us the most. Father, I pray for those who wake up each day just to have to wage war with the enemy for peace of mind. Your word tells us that our minds will remain in perfect peace as long as our minds are stayed on you. Help us to not be weary, um, but rather just put on the full armor of God each day which includes the helmet of salvation, which is a protection of our head, our minds, and our thoughts. The helmet of salvation is what we put on in order to protect and shield our heads and our minds from the fiery darts of the enemy, all the lies that he wants to plant in our heads about who we are, about who you are, about what we're worth, about what we're not worth. Father, help us to fight back. Father, I pray that you would begin to heal the trauma and pain that serves as fertile ground for seeds of negativity planted by the enemy. I pray where there is pain from rejection, you would send healing and a reminder that your son or daughter has never been rejected by you. I pray that where there is fear due to past betrayals, you would send healing and a reminder that you have never left nor forsaken them. I pray that where there is anger, bitterness, and unforgiveness, you would send healing and a loving reminder of just how many times you have forgiven um, and withheld your anger from us. I pray that you would etch Proverbs 23, 7 on the hearts of your people this morning. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. You know, a lot of us feel like it's possible to live a happy, joyous, and, and fulfilled life all while having negative thoughts. And that is just not true. As we think in our hearts, so will we be. If we are wretched and miserable in our minds, if we are fearful in our minds, if we are angry in our minds, if negative thoughts have completely consumed us, then our lives are going to reflect that. Father, help us. We need you on today. And I just thank you in advance for the deliverance that will go forth as a result of these prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Scripture of the day, 2 Corinthians 10.4. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds.